Find out about the street closings on campus. And we have the latest on the tension with China and Russia. I'm Ryan Brooks. And I'm Grace James. Your news starts now. There was an evacuation at West Campus early Monday morning. Our Ryan Brooks has the latest. West Campus experienced an unusual event that took place around 3 a.m. Monday morning that sent students array asking questions and awaiting answers. UTC West Campus residents underwent an evacuation caused by smoke inhalation in one of the bedroom suites that triggered the fire alarm. Until firemen and authorities were able to find the root of the issue, West Campus residents were asked to spend a few hours in the campus library. Director of Safety and Risk Management Bob Jackson tells all on what happened that Monday morning. There was smoke in one suite and triggered the fire alarm. The evacuation is a classic fire alarm building. You know, the alarms go off when everybody evacuate in the space. Determined eventually it was a mechanical system, but there was a small short, and so it smoked out. Although authorities took appropriate action toward the situation, many students were left unaware of what was happening, and Jackson tells us why authorities might not be open to sharing information right away when something of this nature occurs. It can take a while before you really have a true answer, and we don't want half-truth or, or say, we think it's this, because that conversation might grow legs and, and go one direction, when in fact we go, oh, that's not the case, and we need a conversation to come back a different way. So we want to make sure that we need to have a complete answer to that questions, which might take a while. And it did take a while, in fact. We knew we had smoke in an apartment, but we didn't know why it was until once we figured out what it was and it was safe to reoccupy, that's when the students were brought back. Bob Jackson states that they're sorry for the length of time that it took for them to handle the situation and assures that all systems have been checked and that there were no foreseeable issues that should be a problem for West Campus in the future. This has been Ryan Brooks reporting for Mox News. We have a campus closing to tell you about. UTC planners say construction on Campus Drive is progressing rapidly, so this week workers closed the section from Macaulay to Oak Street in order to complete the remaining work. Campus Drive will stay closed until the end of the semester. A path from Oak Street to the accessible entrance from Pfeiffer and Stagmeyer Halls will remain open at all times. There have been new developments overseas involving tensions between Russia and the West. In a meeting last Friday, Chinese President Xi Jinping announced a quote, deepening back-to-back -back strategic cooperation with Russian moments prior to the start of the Winter Olympics in Beijing. According to the Associated Press, the meeting between Russian President Vladimir Putin and President Xi Jinping highlighted mutual support for the backing one another in Chinese strategic interest in Taiwan as well as Russia's ambitions for Ukraine. This official announcement of friendly relations comes in response to mounting tensions against Russia and signifies the common interest between the two superpowers against the West. I don't know about you, but I'm enjoying this warmer weather. How long will it last? Chauncey has the answer. It looks like the weather will warm up a lot over the next week, or will it? Friday, we're looking at potential high of 70 degrees with lots of sun. Temperatures will drop slightly over the weekend. Sunday will have a potential high of 45 degrees, but could drop as low as 25 degrees. We'll see sunny or partly sunny weather most of next week. However, Thursday also holds a 70% chance of rain. Grace and Ryan, back to you. SpaceX satellites have encountered a setback. On Friday, a solar storm interfered with 40 out of the 49 satellites launched by SpaceX last Tuesday. The 40 satellites will plummet back down to Earth. According to SpaceX, there is no danger from the falling satellites. They are set to burn up when they enter the atmosphere. The company was planning to use the satellites to bring internet service back to Tonga, this follows the recent volcanic disaster that hit the country in January. For most students, money is a challenge, but UTC junior Callie High has found a creative solution. I spoke with Callie in her studio at the Fine Arts Center. She told me all about her new business, Cal Hats, where she makes custom hats to order. Here are the details. My name is Callie High. I am a junior at UTC. I major in graphic design and I sell hats. 
I have been crocheting since I was little, so I see stuff on TikTok or Instagram, and I figured that I could um, recreate them pretty fast because I already knew how to do it. The first hat I made was a strawberry hat. So you can see the, fr the frillies on the bottom, and this pattern was pretty easy, and um, yeah, this is the first one I started with. I, before I was making hats, I made illustrations, and they took a lot of time to make. I hone in on the creativity by like the textures, the, the fabrics, the colors. My Instagram is cowhigh, C-A-L-H-I-H. -H. Um, I will be opening a store soon, um, but for right now, if you just contact me through there, I can get you, get you a hat. Your mocks won again this past Wednesday in conference play. And we have a game of the week for first place in the region down in Georgia. Here's Chris Figures with more on sports. Your Chattanooga Mocs men's basketball team defeated Western Carolina 65-47 to on Wednesday night. The Mocs defense played lights out at McKenzie Arena. The Mocs men's basketball team improved to an impressive 21-5 overall record and still remain at the top in the SOCON at 11-2 in the conference. The Mocs will continue their SOCON play as they travel on the road to Greenville, South Carolina to take on the Paladins on Saturday. Tip-off for the game will start at 2 p.m. And our high school hoops game of the week will be a trip back down to LaFayette, Georgia as the undefeated Ramblers will host county rival LFO in an exciting matchup. The Ramblers are coming off of a region win over Cahola Creek 66-47. As for the Warriors, there are two coming off a region win versus the Daredevils 75-49. This matchup between the Ramblers and the Warriors is not only for first place in the region heading into the region tournament, but the Warriors surely hope to bounce back from their loss to the Ramblers back in January. Tip-off for the matchup is set for 8.30 p.m. Also, be sure to watch the Super Bowl between the Rams and the Bengals Sunday night at 6.30 p.m. Grace and Ryan, back to you. That's this edition of Mox News. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to keep up with us on our Facebook page. We are also on Twitter and YouTube. Have a good weekend.